Let's get started with today's operations. The Ten Lords Commission Special Operations Team for the Heliobus Containment Breach Incident, aka the Ghost Hunting Squad, is ready for action! Yeah! Yeah... Yeah? Looks like we're the only ones in good spirits today. I'm sleepy. Oh, little Gwei, what kind of magical elixir did you take to make you so energetic? Every time I see our follower count increase, I get so excited I can't even sleep. It works better than any kind of tea or coffee. Well, aren't you lucky? As soon as I closed my eyes, I dreamt of endless running and circling and chasing after Lady Bailu. It was even more exhausting than doing it in real life. Sushong, you slept for an entire day. Catching ghosts is a night job. It only makes sense to sleep during the day. <laughs> yeah, I have an idea. How about we all just pretend that I've been possessed by a sleep ghost, let me sleep for another ten hours, and then call it a day's work? A certain celestial jade-playing divination commission employee, perhaps? Divination commission? Celestial jade? Shouldn't they be doing divinations? It's this girl! Here, look at this post! Hi! Take my job seriously! I never post something like, late as usual, on a public forum! Miss Sushong, uh, I think you missed the interesting part. The description in this comment is really suspicious. It definitely sounds like Heliobi activity to me. And if Heliobi have managed to infiltrate the Divination Commission, that spells big trouble for the Lafu. You're right. Maybe we should contact Miss Chingchue and warn her not to go to work today. That's a good idea. We should send out a message, or people's curiosity will get the better of them. Notification sent. I guess now we should go to the Divination Commission and see what's going on. Hmm. But let's talk to Sirius again first. So, you imprison Luxie in the Matrix. And I heard the cries of other Heliobi longing to break free. Hmm. That would seem the Ten Lords Commission has everything under control. What is it you want from me? One victory equals one question. Uh, uh, don't forget the agreement you made with the general. Don't be so sure of victory before the battle begins, young one. Without tail to protect you, isn't subduing a Heliobus a bit overwhelming for you? You know, if you can accept me with an open heart, I can take his place and help you. <laughs> really? Of course. That's what I wanted to hear. Oh? The fact that you're trying so hard to persuade me means that you're not sure of victory either. If you were, you'd have devoured us without hesitation. Am I right, Cirrus? Then have it your way. I'll destroy Ching Yuan's pawns here and now! Don't let your previous victory go to your heads! The slightest misstep will be your undoing! <laughs> Let's see how you perform without the general here to watch your back! The customer is king. I will never rest! Your mortal bodies will be 
fatigue and breathe their last breath, then I will endure! Question. We think the Divination Commission has been infiltrated by Heliobus, but we don't know which one. Entering the Sienjo's window to the future, it must be none other than... Kiraloom. They always relished hounding your prophets and seers with questions of destiny. Watching them flounder between the random and the preordained. <laughs> that pile of protein in your human skull is computationally inefficient. Your conjectures on destiny? are little more than analogies and illusions. But we, the shapeless, are different. When we come together to harmonize and observe, destiny is clear and vivid as firelight cast into darkness. Ugh, in warfare, nothing is more important than being able to predict your opponent's movements. Among the fragments of Ignamar, Carolum was in charge of knowing the past and predicting the future. It is said that during that fateful battle, Carolum had a premonition of failure, but Ignamar ignored their warnings. It looks like we have a clear target this time. Let's get going. I may not have the same predictive power as Carolum, little fox girl. But one thing I do know is that sooner or later you will beg for my help. Time will tell. Oh, you're here. Is that a Ten Lords Commission judge? Something's amiss in the Divination Commission. Everyone is mumbling to themselves. Is this some workforce overhaul? Did I set a bad example? Uh, I'm afraid not, Miss Tingtre. Something unexpected happened. I'm just not sure how to explain it. Well, anyway, there's a dangerous situation at the Divination Commission at the moment. So just don't go in there. Good idea. With working conditions like these, I wouldn't be able to concentrate anyway. I heard from Alway that the Artisanship Commission is also experiencing strange phenomena. Several of the apprentices have started babbling nonsensically. It's kind of scary. Of course, it could just be a side effect of being denied graduation. In that case, Miss Jingtre, could you stand guard here for us while we investigate? It doesn't seem like a good idea to just stand here under such dangerous circumstances, does it? I mean, you could leave, but... Oh, wait, are you thinking of coming with us? Didn't you see how bad the situation was? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it, all right. But if I leave now, won't that count as an authorized absence? I can get away with slacking off, but the Master Diviner won't tolerate complete abandonment of my post. Besides, you guys need someone familiar with the Divination Commission to show you the way, right? Then let's go. What's going on? Stay close to me, okay? I'm... Uh... I'm a little scared. What are they looking at? Is everyone okay? There's only one way. Divination is meaningless. How did the Matrix of Prescience become like this? Look, Diviner Fu is standing at the center of the Matrix of Prescience. What is she doing? Judging by her chanting, I think she's performing navigation calculations. Or divining. But something's not right. The Matrix of Prescience isn't moving at all. A 
Heliobus? Is that the danger you were talking about? I read about them in a book. Starfire essence that can transform itself. Enjoys manipulating the dreams and desires of mortals. You mean the Master Diviner is being controlled by something like that? How can we snap her out of it? Uh, we could try ringing the harmonic chime. If we're close enough, we should be able to enter the Heliobus's illusion. Silence! Idle chatter is not permitted in the Divination Commission. Master Diviner! You're awake! Or perhaps we should call you Caroloom! It doesn't matter what you call me. I am the master of the Divination Commission. The current divination has reached a delicate stage, and no one is permitted to disturb it. Not even a judge of the Ten Lords Commission or a guest from the Astral Express! Ching Chue! I have grown weary of your insubordination! Are you the one who brought these outsiders into the Commission? Have you turned a deaf ear to all the rules I've laid down? Ching Chue! You are hereby expelled from the Commission! I... Th that's... Darn! Now we're down one person! A great idea! <laughs> My days here really have been unproductive. Loafing around outside and playing Celestial Jade. All while taking a Divination Commission salary. It's... how to put it? Not exactly. I do complete all my assigned work on time. I would call it... wasting my life away. Thank you, Master Diviner, for giving me the push I needed. Since you feel that my skills could be put to better use elsewhere, it's time for me to think about making some changes. But before I leave, I have to help these guests take care of some trouble here at the Commission. If I don't, people will think I was fired because of cowardice in the face of danger. What next? What do we do now? Giving a dramatic speech to my boss was cool and everything, but it's not gonna help her break free from the Heliobus clouding her mind. I'm not sure what to do. The Heliobus isn't trying to trap us inside the illusion, and it doesn't look interested in attacking us either. Clouding my mind? I've never been of clearer mind than I am right now. From now on, I will dedicate myself to defining the predetermined futures of the C and Joe Alliance, and will make these futures known to the world so that all can live in clarity. I know what you want to say. Spare me the lecture on human wisdom prevailing over nature and those ridiculous notions of free will. These are but crude illusions created by the brain. From the beginning, there was only one path. You... You are nothing more than a pawn at the mercy of the Stellaron Hunters. What day you boarded the Express, who your enemies are, where you go... These choices that you think you make freely of your own accord are mere tributaries. That will eventually converge on the path of destiny. Your journey to the Sien Zhou, the defeat of Fantilia. All these were written into a script long ago by that slave to destiny, hidden in the shadows. Even in this very moment, your options are few. Ready your bat and charge at me. Argue with me loudly and futilely, or fall into silence. <sighs> Don't let her words get to you. There are always other options.
The rise and fall of the tides are dictated by the fire trigram and the water trigram. You are powerless against such a force. You have no hope of defeating me. Venting your anger is meaningless. Anger cannot change that which is already ordained by destiny. All offense, no defense. Is that your strategy? Your attacks won't land on me. Only on these innocent puppets. Such trivial choices cannot change the inevitable. If you are still not convinced, I can demonstrate to you the true nature of destiny in a way that your human brain can comprehend. Then follow me. What is this? This place is what the Divination Commission calls the Pathfinder. It's a sandbox game that diviners use to simulate future paths and exercise our minds. But why did the Master Diviner bring us here? That's right. Now listen. If you place an Ingenium in this little maze and give it a command, it will find its way to the exit precisely as it was commanded to do so. Are humans not the same as they navigate the path of destiny set before them? But you're probably thinking, humans are not machines. There is more than one path in the universe. And yet machines we are. Complex, sophisticated, but machines. We are just like the Ingenium in this maze. We have no options to speak of. We can only navigate one path. The one that takes us to our destination. Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many choices Destiny gives you. It feels like we're dancing to the Heliobus's tune. Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many choices Destiny gives you. Well done. Your choices are as the Omnisia foresaw them. You should know that there was only one answer to this puzzle from the beginning, just as destiny has only one path. Yes, for a puzzle that was designed from the start, choosing any other path would be a pointless mistake. But the universe isn't someone's game, and no one is designing puzzles for us to solve. The universe doesn't have a single answer. We can do anything we want while we're in it. Even if it's the same work every day, I can hide in the library and read a book, or find someone to play Celestial Jade with. And that's freedom. I never thought slacking off could convince me of anything. The sign of a true scholar, a diviner of the Divination Commission after all. Ugh. Sushong, snap out of it! A slacker Heliobus is getting into your head. <sighs> ching chue, ching chue. For you, life may have a seemingly infinite number of choices. That is because your choices are simply different ways of slacking off and wasting time. They are of no consequence to anything. But for me, choices come with very real consequences. <sighs> That's the most divinery thing you've said so far. As the master diviner of the Lafu, I have a heavy responsibility.
I must comb through the complex threads of destiny day after day, all for the preservation of this giant ship. Some paths look promising, but lead to an abyss of despair. Then there are small trails that plunge deep into unimaginable darkness. And in the end, I realize that we have no real choices. There is only one path to follow, only one way to the optimal solution, even if it is paved with ashes and bitterness. There is only one way, and there only ever was. What do we do? I don't think we can persuade her.